Hello everyone, if you have an Asus router that you want to set up, I'm going to show you how to set it up the fastest and the easiest way using the Asus router application on your smartphone. This here is the Asus router RTAX58U, which is the same as the RTAX3000, but the instructions I'm going to show you in this video apply also to all Asus routers. On my left here, I have my ISP's modem. The model of the modem will differ maybe depending on the ISP that you have, but the basic instructions are the same. So I'm going to show you in this video the power up sequence and the connection sequence also. And also I'm going to show you how to install the Asus router application, how to connect it to your router and how to set it up. So let's start first by the power up sequence. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that both the modem and the router are turned off. Then you need to turn on the modem. So my modem doesn't have an on off button. I'm just going to plug it into the power. When you plug in the modem, make sure that the green lights here will light steady green. So you need to give it a minute to do this. When the lights light steady, you need to take an Ethernet cable and plug it in the back of the modem in the Ethernet port. And then plug the other end in the WAN port of the router. So the WAN port of the router is usually blue. And also it is labeled WAN. When you plug in the cable in the WAN port, turn on the router and wait for the lights of the router to stop blinking also. You need also to give it a couple of minutes. Now it's normal for the internet connection not to be ready because we didn't configure the router yet. So now the next step is to install the Asus router app on your smartphone. I have here an iPhone, but the Asus router app is also available on Android. So I'm going to go to the App Store. In the App Store, search for the application Asus Router and install it. While the application is installing, turn the router upside down and look for the default SSID. You need to connect to this SSID in order to continue the configuration of the router. In my case, it is Asus underscore E8. So now the application is installed. Let's open it and tap on Allow and tap on Setup. Here, choose the type of the router. For me, it is an RT router. So I'm going to tap on the first one. And here you have the option. Either you connect manually to the SSID that I showed you, which is Asus underscore E8, or you can enable the camera and scan the QR code on the back of the router. For me, I'm going to connect manually. So tap on manual Wi-Fi connection. And here it's telling you how to do this. So let's go to settings and connect to this network. And this is it, Asus E8. When you connect, go back to the application. So now it is connected. Let's go back to the application. And here the application will continue automatically. And it is searching now for your Asus router. It should find it in less than a minute. And here it found it, RTAX58U. So tap on Get Started. And here it's asking you to provide an SSID for your network. And notice the option on the bottom that is separate 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So if you don't tap on this option, it's gonna merge the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands and the router will decide to which band your device will connect. So I'm gonna separate them. It's better to separate them. And let's give the 2.4 gigahertz network a name. So let me call it KS Tech. And let's give it a password. Make sure to give it a strong password. And notice how the application automatically named the 5 gigahertz band KSTAC underscore 5G. I'm okay with this. And it took also the same password for the 5 gigahertz band. And I'm also okay with this. So tap on apply. And here it will ask you to provide a username and the password for the management of the router. So for the username, do not use something like admin or administrator. And the username is case sensitive. So I'm going to put for my username here, who. And for the password, also do not use the same password as the SSID password. So put here a strong password and confirm it. And after you put the password, tap on next. And the application will continue setting up the router. So now notice the LED light that is red, it will turn white. And here it is turned white. You need to give it a couple of minutes to finish setting up the network. And while waiting for the application to finish setting up the router, if you want to see how you can secure your Asus router 
and thus securing your home Wi-Fi network. I have previously made a video on this. So if you want to check out this video, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So now the network setup is finished and the application will ask you if you want to join the network. Here I want to join. So I'm going to tap on join and it will optimize the network. So also give it like a minute to do this. And when you have this message, your network is operating perfectly. Tap on finish. And here you need to agree to the ASUS notice. Of course, feel free to read it and then tap on agree. And if you want your router to send you notifications, also tap on allow. And for the remote connection, I'm going to decline the enabling of the remote connection. As I mentioned before, if you want to see how to secure your ASUS router, look in the description for the link of the video I made on this. One of the settings of the security is to disable remote connection. So I'm going to tap on decline. And now the router is ready and it is operational. So I just showed you the basic settings that will make your ASUS router up and running in no time. There are many other settings that you can apply to your ASUS router. And I've made many videos on how to configure ASUS routers. And I put them in a playlist. You can find a link for this playlist here. I want to thank you all for watching. And I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.